I actually think that you know, after decades of amazing economical boom, which was bo which was created because of globalization, because of the technology transformation, low interest rate, we are seeing a plateau of the current innovation scale. When you think about the digital life of consumer, how all of that, I do see there are no more new smartphones, etc. However, we are at the beginning of a new innovation cycle, which is probably going to be bigger than the internet, bigger than everything we've seen to date. I think AI can enable now innovation, not only around the digital consumer life, but around agriculture and construction and many of the traditional industry. I think back to in the 90s when I first learned about the internet and you know, uh, the, you've got mail and I think how that grew. Now, how does this change our lives? Well, if you want to solve things like autonomous car, if you want to create uh, uh, you know, more complex decision making, like how do I take, manage risks of bank in an automatic way? How can I replace lawyers with a machine? Or how can I replace journalists or venture capitalists with a machine? You need AI. And this, the emergence of this uh, new generation of AI is opening up huge amounts of opportunities. When you're now looking at opportunities, what are you looking at? What for you is a, is a startup that you think this is the one I'm going to go with? So when you look at history of tech, internet created some giant companies like Google, Amazon, etc. And then came mobile, social and cloud and Facebook and Netflix. I think the next generation will create huge companies, hopefully some of them in Israel. Think about Tesla. Tesla is one of the most valuable companies in the world now and it has actually enabled the electrical vehicle revolution. I think that type of revolution will now happen in many industries, and we will see many new Teslas, new Amazon, new Facebook, new Google, and you know what I am really looking for is to find those companies in Israel, back them early, and help them become the next Tesla of the world. How many people knock on your door and say, I'm going to be the next Google, the next Amazon, the next Tesla? We actually look at thousands of... Israel is a very uh, uh, vibrant entrepreneurial... We, we look probably at 3,000 uh, uh, entrepreneurship projects a year, and we invest in maybe 10. So it takes, oh. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort and a lot of, you know, we need to... Uh, do a lot of diligence and we need to understand yeah. are they really going to change the world? Yeah, but the, the, real, the real magic source of those 3,000 is you can't afford to ignore any of them. We don't ignore any you, of them. You can't afford to because you've got, you just do not know. I mean, the scrap of paper that somebody shoves in your hand could be. It's not about paper. It's looking at the eyes of the people, of those entrepreneurs, understand what is their motivation, understand what their capability, what their vision is. It's to get rid of old ways of thinking. When you're a venture capitalist and you invest in innovation, you always have to talk about what can happen and not about what is likely to happen. And imagining the impossible is, is the core of what innovation is all about.